after the student have submitted the assignment, so the next thing that you want to do is to mark the assignment. So remember in the part one, we have already set up the assignment and also create a rubric for that assignment. So what you need to do as a teacher is just go to the assignment, click on it. After that, you can see the number of the participants, how many have submitted and how many they need to be graded. Okay. And this is a rubric that we made. So the next thing that you have to do is to click view and grade all submissions. After that, just scroll down. Just scroll down all the way down. And in the options, select assignment per page or Filter, select submitted. Okay, so after you click, then this list of the student and their assignment will be sorted. Okay, will be filtered. So only those that submit the assignment will be visible for you. Okay. And after that, what we want to do, because uh, the first thing we want to do is to back up all the submission by students. Okay, so make sure you have all the students submit the assignment. So the first thing is to download all submissions. Okay, so as you can see the in the original file where the students submit their assignment, they didn't label their name and their student number, but it doesn't really matter because once we use this function download all submissions, the system will automatically relabel each of these files with their name and also their student number. So just click download all submissions. And it depends on the number of students and also the type of the assignment. So it will take a while to download all the assignment. So as you can see, so all together is about 34, 38 megabyte for all 30 assignment. So one is download. So it's in a zip file, as you can see. So you can see now each of the file is labeled with the name. So the next thing that I want to do is to extract all this file. Okay, into a folder folder, just click. Okay, and then close. Then go to the place where I download and also extract the file. So here is it. So if this is a Microsoft Word, okay, then you can open it in a Word file. Okay. So what, what I'm going to do next, I will just go to this student, let's say. So I just click on the first one and then grab the student. So click on this. Okay. So I don't have to download the file individually as I have, have already downloaded here. So what I will do, okay, I will put it side by side. Okay, put it side by side. So now I have the rubric for me to do a marking and also assignment on one side. So according to the student number, so I can sort them. So this is the student. Okay, then I can open the file. So you can imagine if this is a word file, then it will open with Microsoft Word. So you can uh, mark the assignment. Okay, just hit on the label or for each criteria, how many marks they should receive. Okay, and then scroll just scroll down your document if this is a word file. Okay. And then when you have done, just click Save and Show Next. Then you can cross the assignment of this student. So this is the next student, then you can open the file for this student. And you can start to do the grading. So all the mark will automatically sum up. Okay, so no worry. And then click next. So after you have finished all, you can just click save changes. So once you click save 
and show next, then they will automatically set the marks. So after you have marked everything, you can just con click continue. Okay, then you can have an overview. Okay, so let's say this is a mark. Okay, that we give to the student just now. And this will automatically show in their gradebook as well. So that's all. Okay. So sometimes we might want to send a reminder to students. So what you can do, so you need to scroll down because just now we already filter the list. So it will only show the student have submitted assignment. So we can do the filter. Okay. Again, but this one is filter those not submitted. So only those not submitted will be shown here. And okay, so these are the students have not submitted their assignment. So what I can do, I can just click on the name of the students. Okay, this student. And they will show the information of students and I can send a message to students. At the same time, I might want to check the activity report. Okay, so it's up to you. So you can send a message to students. Just write, okay, just a send a reminder. That's all.